Good evening and welcome to the TBN Preview Show. I'm your host Zara Savanto and today I'm here with four TBN analysts. Baird Roska, Felipe Kedoyes, Alex Heil, Charlie Cooper. Thank you so much for being with us here today. We have a lot to talk about so let's get right in. So other than the QBs, what player do you think is going to be the most valuable for the Chiefs and for the Eagles? I'm thinking Hassan Reddick for the Eagles. He's been a complete game wrecker for the Eagles um, the past two games and the whole season. 16 and a half sacks, so I'm looking for Hassan Reddick to, to be the one to change the game. Who do you think is going to have the best defense? Yeah, I kind of hate to say this, but it's probably going to be the Eagles. Just like how dominant they've been all year. Um, especially with Charlie mentioned, the defensive line is pretty... Pretty outstanding. You got guys like Sweat, Reddick, uh, Fletcher Cox, who's like in incredible. Yeah. So, I, and then their secondary, like it's just it's kind of an insane talent pool. You guys talk about the Eagles having the better defense, going to have the better defense. Do you think they're going to be able to stop Kelsey, considering his undeniable connection with Mahomes? I think it's kind of impossible to stop him this year. Yeah. Um, just because, like, the, if you watch him, the way he plays is like. It's, he doesn't beat people with speed. He doesn't beat them with, like, even though he's a physically dominant guy, he doesn't beat them with physicality. He's just, like, he's just an incredibly smart route runner. So I, I, I don't think, it, I th I don't think you can, he's a guy you can't really game plan for. I think Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are just unstoppable. And um, even though Patrick Mahomes might be a little bit injured, he'd still played phenomenal. I think the problem for the Eagles is going to be containing Patrick Mahomes. I mean, no one in the NFL can contain Patrick Mahomes. You think you got him, he's going to make a magical play, especially with Kelsey always being open and always being physical like that. So I feel for the Eagles, the hardest part on defense is going to be stopping Patrick Mahomes. You guys both mentioned them getting the QBs being injured, both Jalen Hurt and Mahomes. Which one do you gonna, Which one do you think is going to be able to pull out and, and have the best performance. Mahomes has had a better uh, passing season than Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts tends to rush the ball a little bit. He has been a phenomenal QB, but I think Mahomes definitely has the better stats. I think both quarterbacks will be, uh, I, I don't think the injuries are gonna really be a big story in the game. Hurts, that was like maybe six weeks ago by the time of the Super Bowl, um, maybe even seven. So uh, I, I'm not worried at all about his injury. And, and Mahomes, two more weeks, sprained ankle, that's the type of injury that, no, it looks pretty bad, but he's going to be able to, he's, he's not going to limit himself. He's going to go out there and uh, give his all. And when we're talking about head coaches, you know, Andy Reid has been a head coach in the NFL for 25 years now, and Nick, the head coach for the Eagles, has only been it for two years, especially considering Andy was the, the head coach for the Eagles for 15 years, and now he's over with the, um, with the Chiefs. Um, but so who, do you think the lack of experience is going to affect that? Andy Reid does have winning experience. With the Eagles, he went to multiple NFC championships, plus even played in a Super Bowl. And he won a Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes too. So I feel like that winning experience will come in hand, especially because he's been with Patrick Mahomes for almost like five, six years now. So I feel like that experience will come in hand, but I think both teams are really good and I think both teams are coached really well. So I don't really see the coaching be one of the huge factors that will make one team better than the other. Andy Reid is a really special coach, especially in Philadelphia. He had a lot of success. Um, but I, I look back to the Super Bowl 52 where the Eagles had Doug Peterson as their head coach first time in the Super Bowl. It was his second year as a head coach. Uh, and, and his creativity and fearlessness in the game was what led the Eagles to a win. And I, I expect the same from Sirianni. All right, so now for the obvious question, who do we think is going to win the Super Bowl and the, why? This is incredibly painful for me to say, but I think the Eagles are going to pull it out. I just think talent is just incredibly overwhelming. Um, especially on the defensive end. The Chiefs, honestly, has have had a phenomenal season. Same with the Eagles. It's for sure going to be a close game. But at the end of the day, Patrick Mahomes is more experienced than Jalen Hurts. Um, and I think after Tom Brady retiring, I think he needs to solidify his place as a best quarterback in the NFL. I think Patrick Mahomes will seal it for the Chiefs. So just by experience alone, I have the Chiefs won in the Super Bowl. As a diehard Eagles fan, I don't really know how I can go any other way. I got the Eagles winning uh, uh, 28 to 20. I agree. I definitely think it's going to be a close game. I want the Eagles to win, but I guess we're going to see what happens. I mean, either way, the Kelsey family is going to come home with a trophy. So thank you guys for joining us today, and we'll see what happens on Sunday. Back to you, Hannah and Carol.